Now, I believe that you owe a certain someone a certain answer to a certain question. And the rainfall, how gay do you want Les Soldats to be? Man, I really gotta think about this, because um, there's, there's a lot of weight uh, behind any answer I might give. Um, um. <laughs> this might be uh, the, the biggest cop-out answer, and no, I will not say this just because I have uh, nothing more clever to say, but uh, I'll just uh, ask Soldat to come over and I'll show him exactly how gay I want him to be. <laughs> now you must have hit it off pretty well because after Over the Reels comes Tubby Wubby Pony Waifu. Yeah, we're married now. So, <laughs> under the alias of Teklotl, this is the first Teklotl song. Did you intend on actually making the band project Teklotl with Le Da when you first started the Pony Waifu project together? Kind of. I mean, it was a thing that we talked about, but it was never something that we actually committed to. But we decided to go for an alias anyway, you know, just to leave the door open. And if there were any further collaborations with him, to do it under that name. But at the time, it was not something we actually carefully planned out. And we still haven't, to be honest. This song has a lot of really beautiful acoustic guitar licks and sung in a very intimate style from both of you. You definitely took a lot of <laughs> liberties from the original. Oh yeah, it was so much fun. And we've heard the origin story of this project from Les Soldats' side, but on your side, I believe that you were the one who initiated the idea with him, right? Not exactly. If, if my memory doesn't fail, and you can probably ask Soldat again and he will say if it does or not, but uh, we were just talking and the new, back then the new Rainbow Dash Presents had just come out and he was like, dude, have you heard the song? We're gonna cover this. We've got to cover this, make it like a smooth jazz cover. And I was like, okay. Okay, let's do this, like, right now. Let's start it. The next song I'd like to discuss is Cloud Song, again under the band Teklotl. So this was another collaboration with Les Soldats. to write this one? I'd say about a month on and off because I remember that we started making it before I started making blank pages then I took a break from it to write blank pages and then I came back to it and finished doing it with Soldat 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 See, I must have been about a month Who approached who with the conception of this song? Well, I'm not sure which of us was the first to say, hey, want to make another song together? But I remember asking him if he had any any idea of what he wanted to do this time around. He was like, nah, what about you? So I, I have like this folder of like little melodies and ideas that I have that I come up with and keep around in case I at some point feel like I could make a song out of those. And I showed a bunch of them to him and he was like, yeah, let, let's, let's, do, let's do this one. And he picked one that eventually became the chorus of the song. And, and, and that was it. I mean, he took it and he started building on it and he sent it to me and, you know, just started going back and forth, sharing ideas. Lyrically, this song is rather abstract, but it deals, from what I've perceived, with themes of both departure and relationship. So can you tell us anything about what the song is about, the story you're trying to tell or the meaning you're trying to evoke? Well, I could t I could give you my interpretation, but Soul Dead handled all the lyrics, so whatever I give you will only be the way I see things. Because the only thing I remember Soul Dead telling me about it was that it was a song written around Fluttershy. And that's about as specific as he got. So once again, your guess is as good as mine for this. 
we did slit the construction of the structure of the song evenly. He basically just kept taking everything I did and expanding on it, adding lyrics, and then sending it over to me to arrange it and, and make something out of what he did. And are there any future projects for Tecloto in the works? Not explicitly right now, but I have been feeling the urge lately to go up to Soldat and be like, hey, dude, let's do something else. And, and I'm sure we're all eagerly anticipating this. I know I am. Are there any other people that you are considering bringing under the Tech Lothal project name, or is it just sort of a thing you do with Les Alda? To be honest, I would love to do something with Soldat, Eccentrifuge, aka Lookout London, and Sax Brony. I feel like at least those three together would be some of the sexiest sounds I will ever hear. And if I get to be involved in that, then that's just the icing on the cake. But that's just like for my own personal enjoyment, not, not because I can bring something to the sexiness of the project. Oh yeah. You've got you've got just that Latin sexiness, undeniable. I hope so. I hope so. Otherwise, I would just feel useless among those people. <laughs> <laughs>